Frag Attack Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, baby, for another episode of Frag Tag Radio. And here with you today, Radius. J to the Ray, a.k.a. the Ray Main. And matter of fact. All right. So we talked uh, last episode briefly about a couple of new partnerships. We got a couple more. So let's go ahead and just spit them out there. J Ray. Well, we got a new partnership with World of Video Game News. Uh, they are a big time app. They have basically pull feeds from all over the place. Uh, IGN, Joystick, uh, GameSpot. Pretty much everywhere that has video game news, they pull a feed from. They must got at least 50 different sources on there. Yeah. I mean, it's a great app. They, uh, You can go to English uh, sources, Spanish sources, uh, European sources. Um, now, they also have a ton of downloads. They're a big app. They do a great job. Um, you know, I can't say enough about what they've done. Slick looking, fast loading, zero force closes. Zero force closes. You know, you know the, the ordeal. But um, they're made by Destroid. Right. Um, or Destroidy. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you would pronounce it. It's D-E-S-D-R-O-I-D-E. -E. So Des Appreciate that Destroidy. spelling. And, you know, just in case you're looking <laughs> for it on the app store. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, just just got put up there today. Um, and that's Android. That's Android. You can go on Android Marketplace and download. Just type in a world of video game news. It'll bring you right there. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to a, a good long partnership with them. And uh, the other one, um, Xbox Game News. Uh, and that one is a smaller app, still still a nice app. You can get your news. Uh, you know, uh, everything's pretty simplified on there. It's by RUXXL. Yeah. It's just Xbox Game News, and you can check that out too. Uh, and also, you know, last episode we talked about some of the other apps that were, were on uh, Windows 8 store. Now you can get Game On for Windows Phone 8. Yep. And uh, Game On is made by Underground Studios. It's coming to iOS soon be on iOS hopefully very very soon and that is a very nice app you can get pack attack on there you oh. said what beginning of August iOS yeah beginning of August, beginning of August somewhere around there um by the time we record next time I should have more information on the exact date and stuff for it but it won't be long and if it's anywhere near as successful on iOS as it was on or, or it is, is yeah. on Windows 8 then you know it will it's definitely be big things be big things because they do a good job then Excellent. uh on Android, Game RSS, I'll let you talk about the two different versions of that since you're a little bit more familiar. Yeah, you got uh, Game RSS, you got the red version, and what used to be the green version, but I think it's the blue version now. Uh, one is like Game RSS OL, and the other one is Game RSS Lite, I think. Yeah. Um, both of them are free. Uh, one of them is just a more simplified, pulls all the sources into one feed. Uh, that's the light version, and then they got the the OL, the more the pro version, mm -hmm. which has all the different sources, and you can select each source individually. That's, which I actually uh, that that's my favorite one out of the two. I actually kind of kind of like being able to select which source, uh, especially when you got a lot of sources, you know, having to weed through yeah, all of them. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's made by Black Air, also on Android. You can go to game, just type in game RSS. The uh, the last one we're going to talk about, uh, another new partnership of ours, uh, this was here when we recorded our last episode, is Xbox One News by Hoax Software. Now, right now, they have a little bit of a problem. If you go to our the Frag Tag Radio link, uh, I know that you were the one that discovered it. Uh, it's just code. Uh, they're currently fixing that problem right now. Uh, I spoke to them. It might even be working right this second. I don't know, but by the time you hear the show hopefully it will be fixed but uh xbox one news uh that's also on android by hoax software and uh yeah that's pretty much our plugs also don't forget xbox news from red ai you can yep. still check us out on fast loads air force clothes always has been <laughs> always has been uh all right and then so of course uh, our own plugs fragtagradio.com freshly redesigned we got our own articles yep. up there uh matter of fact just put his first article up yeah retrospect taking it back to atari thank baby. you thank you please read it enjoy it enjoy it enjoy the it retro and, gamer himself what was it uh just day, uh, yesterday or the day before j ray mm -hmm. xbox one versus, versus ps4 games of Throne. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Games of Thrones. Um, yeah, we, we, we got a lot of good articles on there. 
definitely get on there and check them out. Uh, some good reads on there. Yep. Good and reads. and uh, YouTube videos. Now that we got our own YouTube channel set up, we're posting our YouTube videos right there on the site. So anything that you hear us talking about videos for from now on, we'll have uploaded to our YouTube and also on the website most likely if, yep. if we have an article to go along. Also, check with us soon. Uh, we're, we hope to begin start doing discussions, open discussions on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, that's something we're aiming for here in the near future. So. Matter of fact, uh, anyone with Windows uh, fact, with, uh, what did he with Windows 8 <laughs> on your PC, laptop, tablet, or with a Windows phone, as you may or may not know, Halo Spartan Assault just came out. Probably the biggest game release that Microsoft has had for Windows yet. Uh, it currently no, supports... No, probably to it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> currently supports uh, supports uh, touchscreen and mouse and keyboard. Uh, they're planning on adding 360 controller support, but as it is right now, it doesn't support it uh, natively. But if you go to our YouTube account, uh, just youtube.com slash user slash Fragtag Radio, uh, I posted a video up there with directions of how to use the 360 gamepad uh, with the game. There's an app called Xpatter. You download that. Now, I saw the video that you posted, and the only one I saw was one where you held a controller up and then played. Is there another one? No, uh, I put the directions in the... Uh, oh, in the comments. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I was going to say, I, I didn't know if I... I just uh, held the controller up so people would see that I was playing with the controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. And I got you. Didn't want people thinking I was playing with a mouse and keyboard. Just saying. And I was just saying that. that. <laughs> also, uh, don't forget Twitter, Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Tweet us. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Tweet, always a good way to get in contact with us. If you want to have... At Fragtag Radio. At Fragtag Radio. If you want to talk to us about anything, and good way to... Speaking of ways to get in contact with us. Yeah. Boom. 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 Just get... We just... Uh, we noticed, hey, all the other podcasts out there got their own little voicemail. It's time we get one. <laughs> so went ahead, went on over to Google Voicemail, signed up. Uh, our number is... Uh, uh, or of course, our, our, One, our yeah, three hundred four. Mm-hmm. Yep. Talk so, FTR. Yep. So uh, you can leave a voicemail, or you can send us a text uh, to that number as well. So if you don't, you know, want to hear your voice on the podcast, but would like your question answered on the podcast, you can just send us a text. Because I know there's some people out there that probably, you know, people are like that. Some people send us some like voicemails, it. man. Send us some voicemails. Voicemails are better, preferred, but I know, yeah. you know, some people we'll don't put you on the show. Just shy away from it. Yeah, yeah. Put you on the show. You can also email us mail at fragtagradio.com. Yep, and we've got that forward into mine, J Ray's, and Matter Effects account, so we'll all get the email. All of us, just right there. Boom, you might get three, go re- down three to, replies of one email. Go down, <laughs> go down to fragtagradio.com and comment on some of the articles. Let's get some discussions going. We always love discussions. Love them. So, with uh, that. Oh, uh, before we get into it, a uh, couple of shout outs. Uh, shout to my man, uh, Dan Dye, uh, over in the UK. Uh, asked for a shout out on this episode. Uh, man, there was someone else on Twitter who asked for a shout-out. I forgot their name. No, we'll get you next episode. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> That's your shout-out. You, you know, know who you are. are. No. And then, uh, as always, Death from Bo. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's my boy. Yep. That's good peoples right there. That's good people. <laughs> good right people. For sure. Out in the NY. Brooklyn. The Big Apple. All right, so with that, I think we're finally ready to move into the news. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Are we, are we ready? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know if everybody's ready. But I think it's that time. Okay. It's well, time. I guess so, we'll first headline, Xbox One GPU clock speed increased and RAM upgraded to 12 gig, possibly? Now, these are just rumors flying around. I'm guessing the 12 gig thing probably isn't a go. It's just a rumor, and it's a very out there rumor. I don't see Microsoft upgrading their RAM to 12 gig this late in the game. I'm going to go ahead and state that it's bullshit. Yeah, because, I mean... They had to have produced, you know, a couple million consoles by oh, now. Right, already. Yeah. We already heard about... Or at uh, least a few hundred thousand. I mean... Yeah, we already heard about... They're not going to just scrap all those. They're not, no. All, everything that they've been making and their, you know, how much has been uh, usable out of what they've been making. So we know they're making them. We know they're making a lot of them. Yeah. So there's no way. Now, now, it is possible that they've gone in and tweaked the, uh, the, the, uh, the GPU, maybe added a couple more transistors to it, made it faster... That's possible, although not confirmed. And, you know, and uh, we'll obviously know more uh, as we get up to launch. But it is confirmed that they did tweak the ES RAM uh, a few weeks ago and uh, raised the speed of that from 100 something gigabytes per second up to like 170 some gigabytes per second. So that is actually a pretty significant uh, 
significant increase. Well, people are saying that the uh, the rumors about them going up to 12 gigs come from the dev kits, which are 12 gigs. Right. Mm-hmm. And developers have been asking for it. But it's just, the, you know, that that's a decision that needed to be made a long time ago yeah. if that's what they were going to go with. So. Yeah. To, to add in more RAM this late in the game, they'd have to d- delay the launch. Oh, well, nobody or, wants that. Just give us no. eight gigs of RAM. And that, stuff. or they'd, or, or they'd risk, you know, not being able to ship enough consoles yeah. and having some, and and all, having some upset customers. We're already possibly at risk. Microsoft ain't gonna upset any more customers. They're, they're, they better, they will have enough for pre-orders. But people that didn't pre-order are already gonna have very, a whole lot of trouble getting. Yeah. I mean, well, both consoles are pre-ordered out everywhere. Yeah, so. I mean, I think Toys R Us is the only one who still has pre-orders left. Last I checked, not oh, it's Jeffrey. Oh, really? No, uh, I tried. Dang. Well, maybe then maybe it's just going everywhere. Yeah, you can still go to the Microsoft Store itself, can't you? Yeah, well, they still have the advertisement on the dashboard. Yeah, yeah but you yeah, got to pay do. full price. Oh, and I noticed that uh, I didn't. I, I clicked on it the other day, and before when you clicked on the reserve on the dashboard, it would open up Internet Explorer and take you to the website. Mm. But now they've built like code into the dashboard, so like when you click on it, it automatically brings up a form, and it already has your address in and everything, and your credit card number that's associated with your Xbox account. And all you have to do is just hit order. Wow, well, they want streamline to that. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they've streamlined the hell out of it. It doesn't even open Internet Explorer or any of that. It's just right there. It's part of the console, part of the, part of the code that. now. Yeah. yeah. Do that. Which, I, which is probably a good move for them. I mean, people probably clicked on it, saw Internet Explorer open up more like, like nah. oh, yeah. Let me exit out of this. Yeah. But when you make it easy like that, how can you say Impulse no? buys can be made. It is true. Impulse, <laughs> impulse buys, are, buys. Are, are a real thing. And I'm sure Microsoft knows that just as well as the next guy. It's hard to impulse buy something you're pre ordering. You know? Because usually an impulse buy is something I want it and I want it now. If yeah. I'm pre-ordering something, impulse buy can be anything. It, 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 it can, can be. It yeah. can. It can. But for me specifically, if I impulse buy something, you want I now. usually have buyer's remorse oh. the day after. Yeah. And if I, I get buyer's remorse happening. and I don't have the console, well, you pre-ordered both Xbox One and PS4 yeah. the very second they were available. Are you having buyer's remorse? Not with those, but probably <laughs> not the other people. But I'm not your average either. everyday, you know, gamer that needs a link with code in on the dashboard to get me to do it. I'm gonna do you it. You actually went down to GameStop to do it. I'm gonna do it. No make, makes what. it even easier for other people. Yeah. And so I'm just saying, like, you know. We know what you're saying, Jay. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. All right. So next article, Microsoft to allow indies to self-publish on Xbox One. What? Another policy what? change, it seems. A developer who wishes to remain anonymous has told Game Reactor and Microsoft may be changing its policies for the Xbox One. Right now, of course, uh, developers need a publisher to get on what's what would be be now Xbox Arcade, but on the new Xbox, there is no arcade, no indie games, everything. It's just a game is a game. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to get your game on there, you need a publisher. But supposedly, they're uh, changing these policies so that indie uh, developers can publish uh, on their own. And they just recently partnered with Unity to make uh, Unity tools free to independent developers and anybody who wants to use them. So, it seems like they're finally, you know, getting in the right step as far as indie developers go. Um, Ten thousand dollars for a dev kit. I know. I was reading today wow. that uh, there's a a free to play game that's coming out on PS4 called Warframe. Yep. And it's... the uh, developers were at Comic Con and they were saying that they'd love to be on Xbox One. Oh. They just need to uh, hear, hear from Microsoft. Microsoft yeah. they, they just haven't heard any interest from them. So if hopefully Microsoft heard that message and gives them a call. Oh, yeah. That's that Ninja game they that could, I was They could about. use more free-to-play games. Yeah, that's that's supposed to be there at launch. Uh, that's that Ninja game. It looks crazy, but apparently it's pretty popular. Um, What's the other one? There's another free-to-play Planet game. Side 2? Planet Side 2. Oh, that's the big yeah. one that, that they uh, that, that's coming. I knew there was two free-to-play games. But yeah, Warframe, I don't know a whole lot about. But I heard it's pretty cool. So it would be good for Xbox to get it. Uh, now, Planet Side Two. That's that's a game made by Sony. I don't see that ever happening. It's a though. different division of Sony, though. But it, Sony is Sony at the end of the day. Yeah, which, that's but true. there's also a Sony app on Xbox, Sony Pictures. You know, right. so it's not impossible. Videos and games are two different. Realms. Unlikely, yeah. yes. Unlikely, yes. But not impossible. I would say they probably have to pay a pretty penny for that. Probably. Yeah. I I would say the chances are highly unlikely. Yeah. A big enough penny to where they'd probably say, nah, we'll just go find another free-to-play game for our console, thanks anyway. Yeah. 
All right, uh, Xbox One lets you play during download, Microsoft confirms. Now, we already probably pretty yeah, much knew yeah, this, yeah. but it, I guess it wasn't confirmed until just recently. It was confirmed by Sony that they did it, so we all knew they were it was going to be on Xbox yeah. Two. You know, it's just it's a normal thing, it seems, you know? Yeah, Xbox One users will be able to play a game while they're still downloading to the console, and that's whether you're downloading it digitally or installing it from the disc. It Which is matter. good. Yeah, that's cool. Either way. Uh, they also just confirmed at Comic-Con uh, that... Whenever you're playing a game, Xbox is always recording your gameplay footage. Last five mm -hmm. minutes. Right. So if you, you know, get a score of awesome kill in Call of Duty, or in J-Ray's case, a sweet goal in FIFA, then you just say Xbox record, and it'll record the last 30 seconds to however long of gameplay, mm -hmm. and you can... Uh, Stream it live to Twitter or upload it to YouTube yeah, right yeah. there from your console. And we will be posting videos. To another our cool YouTube thing. Account. Another cool thing with the Connect. Uh, Ken Lobb confirmed that, oh, yeah. that they have picture in picture, yeah. so that you can make YouTube videos with you doing commentary yeah. on top of your video gameplay. Yeah, That's going to cool, be cool. Which is well, going to be awesome. Well, I think that kind of falls along the same line of another cool feature we already knew was involved is being able to play a game while video chatting up in the up in the, the right Skype, corner. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. You know, that, that's real neat. So now we could be essentially on Borderlands, all three of us, with up and definitely above up there and, and all of our pictures up in the corner. Yeah. That's my question. You know, if four of us are playing a game, can we get all four people's picture up in the right corner? I think four would probably be the max. Yeah, uh, four is fine. Four's fine, but four would be awesome. Well, Skype, yeah. is Skype is Skype, and they have group chatting. On yeah, Skype, exactly. So. Yeah. I mean, Google Hangout has it too. So yeah, if it's, it's a, if it's impossible. a first version of Skype, it'll be there. Yeah, um, but playing a game too. Now you're talking a lot of uh, stress on your system. But well, I, I that, think it'd be that's why Microsoft is has not, that, has that, that, that yeah. dual that yeah. dual system that they're running. And at, out of the eight, they've dedicated three gigs of that RAM to go towards multitasking and other features. Oh, okay, so it can yeah. be done. It can be done, and I think it'd be awesome. I mean, now you're talking about video chat, no headset. You can see somebody's face when you kill them. Like oh no, oh. he, he gotcha. Yeah. Got that John Luke Picard face palm going on. <laughs> I get uh, very upset at times. And, oh yes, uh, you do. You you can see me being very upset live and in. Color. If you think you get upset, <laughs> you've never played an online shooter with Steve-O. Whoa, yeah. I heard. I'd like to see that. I like that's crazy times right there. I heard Gears of War just killed him. Gears of War too. Woo! Me and Derek were like, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say he was cussing up a stone? Oh, right? yeah, he was. This game's broken. Broken. I get angry, too. I hear you, Steve-O. I get angry, too. Yeah, you be getting that road rage. Mm -hmm. So moving on. Rage quitting out of that game. Rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> Microsoft's Lyft London working on four projects. All, all free, free play. play. Now, uh, Lyft yeah. London is a new studio that they actually just opened up. What was it? Not, not uh, less than a and year ago. working on yeah. four games at one time for a new studio. That's Systems a lot on their plate. Overnight. Must be a pretty big city, a studio. Got yeah, it. Yeah, has Got to be. 43-person Soho-based studio is a 100% first-party digital business working on a tablet, mobile, and connected platforms. Now, these titles aren't all Xbox One titles, are they? I imagine they're going to probably simultaneously release them on all of their stuff. That makes because sense. Uh, I, I don't have this in the outline, but just a, just a little over a week ago, Steve Ballmer completely restructured Microsoft, uh, moved people around, and they are now a devices and services company, and that's all they're concentrating on. And their main goal is for all their devices and services to be connected through the cloud, through playing games online, through SkyDrive, uh, like, right now, I've got Windows 8 on my laptop and Windows 8 on my Surface. Anytime I download something on my Surface, as soon as I boot up my laptop, it's already there. Yeah, that's Apple. That's, that's just like Apple, you know. And, and but that's... the cool thing is, files on my PC, I can access them like they're from my hard drive, even though they're not really on my right. hard drive. Oh, cloud. Okay. Cloud. Yeah. 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 But... But what's cool is, like, normally, well, before, uh, with the old SkyDrive, you would have to open up SkyDrive to see what you yeah, have on SkyDrive. Yeah. But now, pictures I have in SkyDrive, they appear in my pictures folder. Yeah, all on my yeah. Phone. And see, that makes things so much easier. Especially, like, you know, I, I know you, you you do it with your Microsoft device. I don't have Microsoft devices like you do, although I do have a Windows 8 phone now that I kind of like. Um, but, like, with my with my Apple tablet and phone, it's, it's the same way. And I love it when you download something. 
as soon as I turn on my iPad, it's already there. When I take a note on my phone in the notes category, I go to my iPad and it's in that notes category. Right that. that is the future and it's awesome, you know? Yeah, and it's the same thing for games too. I downloaded Spartan Assault on my, on my tablet and then I booted up my laptop because I wanted to hook it to the TV to mm. play with the controller on the big TV. Spartan Assault was already there. And nice. that's, that's the future and that's sweet. So it's good. You can see that that Microsoft is going more modern finally you know not not with their gaming side of company but with their computer side it seemed like for so long they were stuck in the windows 90 yeah. era That's where same. windows was so great and they, they they didn't make significant changes and ever since windows 8 has come out it seems like they're going edgy they've been making yeah. big moves yeah, yeah. they're getting yeah. edgier but see a lot of people wanted wanted them to stay, and I know they did because they caught so much flag over when they when it first came out. I know, but it was the right move. It they was the had, right move. It yeah. was the right move. They were stuck in the past, and they were letting Apple leave them in the dust a little yeah. bit because of it. When you know historically, Windows dominates Apple, yeah. but people yeah. had started switching to to Apple devices because that, and now. I, well, they've made their move. Even Apple's been kind of getting into that same rut because they've been catching a lot of flag because iOS has looked the same for the well, last that, time. That's true. Years. That's true. And that's why Android's been taking off because Android's constantly very changing. True. And that, better that's, and better. that's very, very true. But And it's almost like the same thing as Windows 98. It was so successful that you want to live in that success. Call of Duty is the same thing. You want to mm -hmm. live in that time for as long as possible. You take no risks. Yeah. You take no risks. But to Apple's... The, the difference is Apple is stuck in a little bit more futuristic program yeah. than Windows 98 was. Yeah. Windows finally got to the Windows 8, and it's good for them. I think it's really good for them. They needed it. Yeah. Well, laptops just recently started becoming touch devices, so yeah. they, they really couldn't have done that before. That's true. And, and, and they really weren't into the mobile game very heavily. No, so, especially not tablets. I mean, no, they, they, they had all. Windows 7 phones. But th th those were very small time, and they didn't How have many, any tablets yeah. then. Yeah. So I guess they really didn't have a need to. But Matter of fact, they just released their numbers. Hey, say his name again, man. You're a popular guy. <laughs> they just released their numbers uh, uh, recently for the quarter, and uh, a, lot of a lot of revenue came from the Xbox. Yeah. And um, they actually lost some revenue on the Surface RT tablets, but surprisingly, the other big chunk of their, uh, their revenue came from Windows 8 phones. They've been selling them like a lot better than they were even forecasting to. That's surprising, man. It, it really is. It's good news, good, good news for them. Yeah, it, it's just I, it's just so surprising to me because I just don't I don't see it. I don't know. They must be selling a lot in Europe or places where yeah. I'm not. Well, very rarely do I see someone with like Windows Phone. I never phone see or, anybody yeah. with a Windows Phone. Yeah. I it's, am the uh, only person that has one. I've seen it's, you and one it, other person. It's Nokia's uh, Lumia phones. They've, they've become really popular. I, I think Microsoft owes a lot to Nokia because they have really helped them move up. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I don't know who the hell is buying them. They must have a, clip, a cult of some, some people that, somewhere, yeah, yeah. somewhere in Utah <laughs> where everybody owns a Windows phone. Or Last year they had 6% of the cell phone market, and now they've moved up to somewhere between 13 and 18% of the cell phone market. That's a More big jump in one that. year. That is a big jump. But, uh, but yeah, so moving on, Metro Last Light Faction Pack DLC just recently came out. I uh, just wanted to touch on it briefly. Uh, it's got three single-player missions, and each uh, uh, each mission you're playing as a different faction from the world of Metro. Uh, the DLC is running for 400 Microsoft points, or if, you're, or if you're in the Xbox dashboard beta like me and J-Ray, they've already moved over to real money, so that'll be $499, uh, five bucks. All right, so uh, this is crazy. Fans petitioning yeah. for the Xbox One DRM to return. Damned if you do, damned if you do. Pretty much. Yeah. That's what I thought when I first saw that. Now, um, obviously, I don't think this is going to gain any significant traction. Where can I sign this? Change.org? <laughs> oh, I, 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 it's not going to do a damn bit of good. No, I mean, they're not going to reverse policies again. They'd be no. idiots. Uh, they, they, they took a huge, huge, huge risk doing it once. Yeah. If they did it again, people would just be like... If they oh, do it again, they might as well close down shop. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way, because then they just look like a company that doesn't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, what they're doing. But or... speaking of policies, is it J Ray is gonna be happy about this one? Xbox One's family sharing feature may return. Microsoft said. Yeah, yeah it better. Um, obviously, because of the recent policy changes, they had to cut out family sharing. It won't be available in time for launch. But 
Mark Witten, uh, Chief Product Officer of Xbox, said if it's something people are really excited about and want, we're going to make sure we find the right way to bring it back. Well, guess what? We're really excited, and it's something we want. It is. I'm guessing that it'll be just like it was going to be, except it'll only work for digital content, uh, which yeah. is fine. And I mean, I will totally make the move over to digital if developers and Microsoft as a publisher can start thinking of ways to entice me, like... Game, uh, GameStop has pre-order bonuses for games. If I can get pre-order bonuses for buying the game digitally, I'll totally do it. Yeah. No problem. I like buying games digitally because I hate messing with discs. I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of digital games on my 360 yeah. and PS3. I do too. So the only thing that keeps, that keeps me going to GameStop is pre-order bonuses. If it wasn't for those, I'd have been started buying digitally a long time ago. Well, that and the fact that on 360, games don't come out on the day digitally that they come yeah. out. Yeah, that's store. always been They do on PlayStation yeah. 3 now, but yeah. they didn't for a long, a long time. Yeah. And, you know, games on demand, they, they don't get them now until what? They're, they're better now than they were. They're a lot better than Yeah, they used, used to be a long time. Yeah. It takes like two weeks. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, two weeks, something like that. Maybe it's not as long as wait, yeah. Depending on how popular the game is. But yeah. as a gamer like us, you want that. You ain't waiting no damn two weeks so you can buy it digitally with no pre-order bonuses. Yeah. Come on, man. And I think it's better for publishers and developers to start releasing that content sooner anyway because then people are more likely to go buy the digital copy than the retail copy and and the digital copy can't be traded in, sold as a used game, yeah. and, that's, not, and that's what's going to lose them money. Not only so, that, but they don't have to pay for distribution. Right. No. You know, you, you would think that would save them some money. Well, my thing, I think Microsoft still gets a cut of games being sold on their network. I would well, no, I'm yeah. sure, but when I say distribution, I mean they don't have to pay for it to be imprinted into a disc. They don't oh, have yeah. They yeah. don't have that. to cover a box uh, for oh, shipping well, the well, stores. stores yeah. Covers have gotten very slack. We don't even get instruction yeah. booklets anymore. That's true. And they're printing the warranty information right on the back of the sleeve that <laughs> that's slides just lazy. In, in between the, the green and the yeah. see-through plastic. I mean, they've gotten pretty cheap when it comes to those it, cases. Yeah. Well, you want to get cheaper? Put them out digitally day one. Yeah, and, and then and that's why I got to give shouts to Persona 4 Arena because that game actually had a nice. That was a huge booklet. booklet. Inside of it. Very detailed. I was detailed. like, what in this day and age? For, For real? real? Yeah. It's everybody's so green now that you know that they don't they want to green. save paper. Even your your damn Game Informer, like yeah. my roommate. They've all all my Game Informers have been coming. He's like, where are my Game Informers? I was like, dude, I bet digital. that you have the digital version. Yeah. And sure enough, it's on there. It's on there. <laughs> He's got the digital versions being sent to him because you want to save paper. You want to be green? Don't complain. Yeah, I like my paper versions of, I of magazines. Yeah. You know, I like getting them in the mail, having them in my hand, flipping through the pages. Like I will like, say, women to work. I will say, I'm time. the same way. Yeah. I am the same way. But one thing that's really cool is on my iPad, the newsstand. I have like a bunch of Xbox magazines and gaming magazines on there, and it's really sweet to have it just. Yeah, like, just and it's just like a real magazine, you know. Yeah. But the cool thing is when they're doing like a game preview. You'll see a little video box. You press play, and it'll show you the trailer. Oh, you know, okay. so it, it, it's like, different things they can cool. do in that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the same exact magazine, but it has trailers and interactive stuff to it too. That's kind of cool. I liked what OXM was doing before they went out of business. Yeah, they were shipping uh, a disc yeah. with every magazine. I missed You that. put that into your Xbox, and it would have like five or six demos of the latest games. Yeah, and they would also throw in like some free gamer pictures and a premium theme with uh, yeah. it. Yeah. Plus, you had access to their entire review archive oh, yeah. on every disc. You could go on there and look up a review for any game that had come out for 360, and it was it was on that disc. And I thought that was pretty cool. But towards the end of their lifespan, they cut that disc out because to save on whatever, whatever. Money, whatever. And then they went out of business shortly after that because I think the disc was the only thing still keeping them alive, really. Yeah. Magazine publications are a hard business right now. It is. The everything... only reason the only reason Gary Informer is still alive on paper is because the game stopped. You know? Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, it's just everybody gets their information now off blogs and, and, and Twitter. And FragTedRadio.com. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, Xbox Live, Summer of Arcade, full schedule, pricing. Uh, I know, I, I was talking about you and did the same thing. It's my bad. Uh, this year's Summer of Arcade, it's kicking off uh, August 7th. The first game coming out is going to be Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, uh, followed by what, uh, Charlie Murder is going to be number two. <laughs> yeah. uh, Flashback will be number Flashback three. Flashback number three. And then finally, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. Best for last. Uh, let's see. Brothers will be 15 bucks. Charlie Murder will be 10 bucks. 
Flashback, 10 bucks, and Ninja Turtles, 15 bucks. So you got two... Vector Cell will push out its remake classic of Flashback. Yep, two 15 buckers and two 10 buckers. What can you do? What can you do? All right. And then the most exciting news of the week. What? Come on now. Le- the Lego movie video game coming 2014. Uh, come on. Uh, everyone has been wanting to have another Lego game. There hasn't been one in so long. <laughs> <laughs> they've, got the, they've got the Marvel one coming out that looks sick. Yeah, yeah, that does that look one pretty looks, good. I mean, that one looks tight. I've kind of liked all the Lego games. The Lego games are tight, man. They're fun. They're, yeah. they're, 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 fun. they're all the same, but they're cool. Essentially, yeah, they are fun for all ages. There and 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 that's hard to do. It's hard to make a game that's fun for kids and fun for adults. That's true. Too. Have it universally. Yeah. Yeah. But Legos actually managed to pull it off. We and deal with something like Legos. That's, a, that's another case of a game having a, a winning formula and sticking with it. Yeah. You know? And just change it just enough with, like, you know, the content, yeah. the characters. Well, yeah, because, like, at first, they didn't have split-screen play. And then they added split-screen play, yeah. but, but you had to be on the same screen. And mm-hmm. if you went off, you couldn't go off. Yeah. And then they eventually added it so if you went off-screen, it would split the screen in half yeah. and move around. Based on, so, so little it, improvements. Yeah, yeah. Gradual improvements over time. But so while all the other LEGO games have been based on, you know, characters, comic Steps, books, things of that nature, yeah. this one is going to be based on the LEGO movie that's coming out next year. Uh, which I actually don't know much about. Didn't even know yeah, there was a Lego movie coming out until yeah. just recently. But uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, but, Johnny um, Gat returns. Whoa, whoa, the whoa. You cannot just skip over Teenage Mutant whoa. Ninja <laughs> Turtles. Turtles. I didn't even okay. see it. The way the outline is, it's, it's now, together. You know, I missed yeah. that. We've got the Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows coming out for Arcade. This is actually going to be a full retail release. Give a new to Space Bar. The one, uh, the one that's coming out, on, uh, coming out on arcade. The turtles don't look like they do in the new cartoon. They're, no. It looks like it's got a more darker, it's grittier, grittier tone to it. Comic book style. Uh, right. This one is going to be a full retail release, and the turtles look just like they do in the cartoon. Four player co op. And what's interesting is it's only coming out on Xbox 360, the original Wii, yeah. and 3DS. Not weird. Not coming out on PS3, not coming out on the Wii U. They're targeting that audience. Yeah. You know, the kid audience. Yeah, just the, the main consoles they that, 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 that had yeah. that, that kid base there. The Wii and 3DS, definitely. Um, so, definitely, looking, as, as a big Turtles fan, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That should be pretty good. Yes, it should. Bada boom. And Johnny Gett, like Jay, Jay Ray was saying. Returns from the dead in Saints Row 4. The yeah. dead, dude. For those who have played Saints Row 3, you know that Johnny Gett bites the buck. Bites the bucket, bites the dust. He bites uh, the butt. <laughs> kicks the bucket, bites the dust. <laughs> Johnny Gat bites the butt. He bites the butt. <laughs> that Johnny Gat, I'll tell you. Uh, he does some pretty crazy stuff. That guy. I don't know if he bites the butt though. I don't know. I don't know. At the end of the game, you got that space mission, and there's some pretty weird things going on there. Yes, I mean, sir. only Saints Row can you can you haul around a big giant purple dildo? And That's true. It. I mean, yeah. anything can Lunching happen in the world of Saints Row. <laughs> I think biting someone's butt is not totally out of the question in that world. Oh, actor, oh no! Actor Daniel Day Kim is best known for his roles in Lost and Hawaii Five O. Voices Johnny Gat. Uh, now they're saying that it, this isn't just going to be some. Oh, he's back. They're actually going to explain how he's back, how he was reincarnated or whatever. Uh, and sure it'll, and it'll supposedly be a satisfying story arc for fans, which remains I'm to be seen. I'm sure it'll be crazy. Uh, and also, uh, I read today the Enter the Dominatrix DLC that was originally supposed to be for Saints Row 3, but they got so big they decided to make Saints Row 4. They're still doing the Enter the Dominatrix DLC. It's going to be a DLC for Saints Row 4 now, and that'll be coming out in October. Now for some of the big news of the week. Shit is getting real about Mass Effect 4, says BioWare. So uh, there's been a lot of uh, meetings going on, supposedly. They said that they're just now ramping up, uh, you know, production the, you know. production on the game and, and starting to get things moving forward. They're having, like I said, meetings about, you know, the story and yeah. Yep, uh, Kim Thane from Bioware tweeted, New Mass Effect story and main character reviews today. This shit's getting real. I think fans will be really excited to play this story. Well, I hope you're right. Yeah, they hype it up that much already. Yeah. Well, as long as it's got a good ending, I'm there. They say it'll be friendly okay. to both old, <laughs> They say it'll be friendly to both old fans and, and newcomers. Okay. Uh, okay. It'll retain the franchise's open mindedness when it comes to gender options and GLBTI. Oh my god, Anders and uh, we got ourselves another Anders coming to Mass Effect. <laughs> yep. Hey. 
And uh, what was that guy's name who was on the ship, uh, Mass Effect 3? He was down below with the big Puerto Rican guy. Oh, uh, man, I forgot his name. But he's the one where when the strippers are dancing on and he hits on you, you better say you enjoy the view. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because if you don't, man, oh, man, he starts hitting on you a lot. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah. So just say you enjoy that view if you don't want him hitting on you. He's the guy who always pilots the shuttle. Yeah. I can't think of his name, though. Oh, Me yeah. But uh, anyway, anyway, this next news article I know Matt is excited about. What, Ultra Street Fighter 4? Yeah, they announced this at EVO. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised, really. Capcom. Back to I mean, their old ways. All right. Ultra Super Intense Street Fighter 4 Championship Hyper Turbo. Edition. <laughs> Champion- Hyper edition. Turbo Championship <laughs> Edition. It's coming. It's coming. All right, so this one well, will feature five new characters. Yeah. Uh, the returning quartet of Elena, Rolento, Hugo, and Poison, and a, and a mystery fifth character, as well as new modes, stages, features, and lots of feedback-guided gameplay tweaks. I'm guessing some balancing going on there. Yeah, they're always tweaking. Bada boom, and that's going to retail for 40 bucks, which ain't bad. I mean, now, you the can, game is like two years you old. You can buy it for fourteen ninety nine if you already own Street Fighter yeah, 4. You get right, yeah, you can get it as a DLC yeah. expansion. Okay. Which, which is good for current owners. Yeah. Correct. Bada boom. They need to stop that, though. Now, this game... Matt, you were saying that this looked pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Strider. Yeah. Um, what kind of game is this? It's like a side-scroller. I mean, it came out in the arcades, jeez, I want to say, like, 89, 90, something like that. And uh, basically, like, a ninja. And I think, if I remember correctly, in the arcade game, you were stopping a Soviet invasion. Right. Only this time, they completely reworked everything around. And now... It, it's mostly about trying to take over this government that seems like it's just, you know, oppressing everybody and he's the only person that could, you know, stand up, blah, 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 blah. Stories like that are kind of boring now. Says it's, supposed, <laughs> says it's supposed to have a Castlevania Symphony of the Night type structure. Yeah, if you see the video, I mean, when he gets to a to the beginning of a level, the whole level pans out. And you see, it almost reminds me of... Um, that so one it's arcade like game. 2D side scrolling, but it like, like 3D environment? Yeah, it's like Metroidvania. You just go around... So like Deadlight? Deadlight or um, Shadow Complex. Oh, I think yeah, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like that. Yeah. Only uh, this one looks way better. I mean, I like so definitely Shadow some Metroid esque stuff. Going yeah. On. yeah, I mean, there's certain ways you have to defeat certain enemies. You unlock certain things for your blade, so you, you shoot, you know, charge it up. It's the only way you can kill certain enemies. Yeah, stuff that's like the that. only way you can get through certain areas. Yeah, they have to, to go no back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a cool structure. It sounds. Sounds shadow complexity to me. Yeah. And this is in development at Double Helix, the same people who are doing the new Killer Instinct. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, it'll be coming to next generation and current generation machine machines. So you got Xbox One, PlayStation Four, as well as three hundred and sixty and PlayStation Three, cool. and also on PC through uh, through Steam. So that be will be interesting be to see. And in my opinion, the best Soul Calibur out of all the Soul Calibers, two. Soul Calibur Two getting re- yeah. re-released as Soul Calibur Two HD Online. And that's coming to the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 in the fall. Man, the original first, the first two Soul Calibers were, were the best, so great. Yeah. weren't they? Yeah. And then just like Street Fighter, they just went there. Yeah. <laughs> just well, kept adding all this crazy stuff. Uh, well, the most recent one was five, right? Yeah, yeah. and that one wasn't bad. Right? I liked Soul Calibur four a lot, yeah. but five felt like a step backwards to me. Wait, the newest one was four, I thought. I thought no. five was yeah, no, the was one five. that I beat that I played the story mode on and beat and I said I like the story mode I think that was five it might have been I, I, I mean I guess well, yeah. well Soul Calibur 3 was one with like Yoda, Vader and Link wasn't it yeah that's why I thought the newest one was Soul I, Calibur 4 maybe it is 4 but that came out so many years ago yeah, well that's why the see Soul- Yoda and Darth Vader was on the 360 version I could have sworn that was Soul Calibur 4 because I don't remember seeing a 3 on my box I remember, the I remember yeah, 4 yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. yeah it's 4 you, yeah, you, yeah you, you might be right the newest one might be 5 I just like I said we you know so many of them it is 5 the newest one is 5 yeah, okay. yeah. it is 5 because yeah. okay. I'm thinking about it I now so. and, it, and it had a decent story mode and it wasn't a bad game but it was nowhere near they cut they, they just they just cut, they cut out a lot of good features that were in Soul right. Calibur 4 didn't have the, didn't have the the, the character customization stuff. Oh, they took well, it was there. It, it was there. It just didn't seem as deep as it was in 4. You know, it was pretty much the same. They just didn't expand upon it. You know well, what I mean? And, uh, and also, in 4, they had, like, this tower thing that you could go through, and, like, the enemies got increasingly harder and harder and harder and harder. And there was, like, 200-some-odd crazy number of levels in that tower yeah. that you were working your way up. And uh, that wasn't in there. The thing that I liked the most about 5, and it was really the only thing that I liked about it, was the, the story, story mode. And I love this new thing of putting story modes in fighting games. with Mortal Kombat and Injustice. Really good. Mortal yeah. Kombat yeah. and Injustice did a great job with it. 
Um, Injustices is a little bit uh, all over the place, but that's just because there's so many characters they had to fit into it. But Mortal Kombat was sick. That was good. It was sick, and it made you play as every character. But yeah. yeah. Anyways, moving back on topic here. Bottom boom. Gearbox. New Borderlands 2 DLC. You dead from above? Yeah. <laughs> they're going to keep on pumping these out as long as people are paying for them. Yep. Well, the new DLC pack, they got the Ultimate uh, Vault Hunter Upgrade Pack 2, which will add 11 more levels for your character. But you have 71, right? 72. 72. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the last one was 11. The first time I yeah. 61, yeah. So that's 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 pretty that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, if you're a hardcore Borderlands fan, which we do know on <laughs> guns and all kinds of stuff, mm-hmm. add it. Uh, and they're also coming out with some other, I think, uh, cosmetic stuff. Yeah. Uh, the team also revealed upcoming DLC pack, TK Baja's Bloody Harvest. The content will include throwbacks to Zombie Island of Dr. Ned DLC for the original Borderlands and will include a boss battle yeah. against a pumpkin creature, Jack Ace Gold. You Lantern. know what these reminded me of? Final Fantasy thirteen two, the challenge arena things that you bought. Yeah. That's what these remind me of. It's almost like a very, very small boss battle in story oh. with new guns and every one, every time you beat one you get cosmetic upgrades and stuff. Oh. That's how and there's supposed to be three of them coming out at least. Okay. And the first one is this TK's Baja battle or whatever it is. And uh you know, they almost remind me of those Col- Coliseum things from right. Final Fantasy thirteen two. Maybe a little bit bigger. Right. But, you know, um anyway, it's uh you know, more Borderlands, more Borderlands 2 DLC is always a good thing. In this movie. Always a good thing. Well, yeah. All right, and then so more rumors abound. Gears of War MMO possibly in development at Epic. What? I don't know. When I think about that. How is that, how is that even work? I know. MMO what I was might be used very loosely here. It seems to be being used loosely on a lot of games. It is. Right, right. You know, I, I, that's what I mean. I, I yeah. doubt we're going to see a Gears of War slash World of Warcraft type deal. Yeah. But it could have MMO elements to it. Right. You know, but still keep its Gears of War tradition and stuff. Like instead of a four-player co-op campaign, like an eight to 16-player co-op right. campaign. Right, yeah, right, yeah. I'm thinking you know, of something along the lines of, what's that? That makes sense. And, and then people... Maybe add in some RPG elements where you can yeah. level up your character, right. change right. the armors and things And then like you're that. essentially getting a, a Gears game with some better features. Yeah. But it's... I guess technically. Well, and, yeah. there, there's some features from Gears 3 that weren't in Judgment that they need to add back. Yeah, they needed to. Yeah, they need to add those. Judgment up. Active, always... active reload, a stopping power, the ability to play as the Locust. Yeah. I mean, I, it seems like Gears of War Judgment was always going to get a little skimmed a little bit, yeah. being as it wasn't directly developed. Yeah. Well, it. rumor is this next one is being developed by People Can Fly also. Really? Uh oh. Yeah. Well, hopefully they'll do a better job. Yeah. So. Well, I, you know, they, People Can Fly is a good studio. Man. They, they, are. they are. I mean, they did a really good job with Bulletstorm. They did. Yeah, that's... For a game that didn't have a big budget, um, you know, was a new IP, they surprised a lot of people with it. Yeah. And they had a cool concept. They did. Yeah. Kill with fucking skill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else like it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to put that out there. By the boom, and then Halo Four getting some more DLC. These, these older games are just getting more DLC. They are, aren't they? Um, yeah. I think this was in line with the tournaments that they're having. We're getting two new multiplayer maps mm-hmm. and a new mo- a new mode called Ricochet. And this Ricochet almost seems like a mixture of like hockey and soccer, but Halo style. Sounds cool. Uh, anything soccer? Jerry is all over. You know, soccer, baseball, or football. Uh, the no, de- the downloadable here. content will be available as a complete bundle or separate packs. Uh, the Bullseye Pack is going to introduce uh, Spartan-themed armor and uh, new maps Pitfall, which is a remake of The Pit from Halo 3, mm-hmm. and also a brand new map called Vertigo. Uh, the pack's new mode, Ricochet, has 5 versus 5 gameplay and what the developer calls combat basketball. Players will compete for possession of a ball while scoring points, attacking, and defending. Players can either throw the ball into the goal or run it into the goal, which rewards more points if you run it in rather than throwing it in. Okay. Sounds fun. Uh, the, 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 the other part of the pack, or you can buy it separately, is the new weapons and armor. Uh, which new, But by new weapons, they, they mean new skins for the existing weapons. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, which, which is cool because it, they were lacking in the amount of skins that were they had for the guns in the game. So I'm glad to see that they're adding more skins because it's like there's one extra skin for every gun. And no one wants to use the regular gun, so everybody's rolling with yeah. that one skin for the DM4. Oh, was that like the, the It was first... like orange stripes or something. Yeah, uh, it's like hunting. Some 
But yeah, so uh, I, I know one of the new skins. It makes it makes the your uh, your assault rifle look like it's got like shark eyes and teeth on it. Oh, that's cool! My old uh, jet fighter. Yeah. So cool stuff. Cool stuff. Looking forward to it. Uh, and like I said, that'll be ten bucks, aka eight hundred Microsoft points. Um, bada boom. Looking forward to it. Uh, I believe by the end that'll be available August twentieth. So Call of Duty Ghosts to have a new co-op form. Of some kind. So I'm guessing they're they're ditching Spec Ops. Well, you know that doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna ditch it, but they might just call it something else. Use. Yeah, they could call it something else, or they could keep it Spec Ops in there and have a new type of co-op mode. You know, long as they keep survival, I'm straight. Because Spec Ops, it wasn't really a big draw for me. But like survival, it. I like to survival, lie. Survival, I like to. You know, uh, there's I, I feel like Infinity Ward is still trying to find their answer to zombies. Yeah, you know, they're still trying to find yeah. that, and, and zombies. I mean, let's let's face it. Treyarch hit it big with they zombies, did. and every year Infinity War comes out with a game. They're trying to find their version of it, and they haven't been able to do it yet. I mean, and since uh, Treyarch started coming out with the Black Ops games, their Call of Duty games have been better than Infinity War's yeah. games, and not just because of zombies. They've just made better Story campaigns, wise, yeah. better multiplayer maps. Black yeah. Ops 2's multiplayer maps are leaps and bounds above Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer yeah. maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know. Anyway, uh, just they're, they're, they haven't said a lot about it. You know, the, they haven't really revealed anything. They just said, you know, it's unclear, you know, whether it's going to be spec, op, spec Ops or a whole new type of thing, but we'll see. They just said that they're not announcing it yet, but it'll be soon. My guess is Gamescom. Yeah. Gamescom's going to be know. big this year, by the way. Yeah. Gamescom, this is going to be the biggest Gamescom we've probably ever had. Both Microsoft and Sony are holding full press conferences, like, e, like E3 status. Yeah, so. and, and that never happens. By the no. way, it never happens. The, the last time Microsoft had a press conference there was 2005 when they were launching the 360. Yeah. Oh, wow. So. And this brings me to my point. Check out my article on FragAttackRadio.com if you want to. But it's going to be a war that... Uh, showdown. We haven't seen it. Heavily. You know, we haven't seen something like this in a long time. We've never seen anything like this, to be quite honest with you, because of the, the size of our industry now. Yeah. And the internet. And yeah, because even in the Super Nintendo Genesis era, there was only two main consoles. Yeah. So there wasn't a lot of And the internet wasn't, wasn't around then. Or right. it was just getting off the ground. Well, so you your, your arguments the... consisted in the lunchroom. Yeah. Or yeah. you whipped out a magazine. Yeah. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. check it out. Your Nintendo Power or, or you know, Game Pro. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace. EGM. Yep. Yep. Electronic Gaming Monthly. Remember the Next Generation? Magazine? Yeah, I used to have that. Next yeah. Generation was Sega Saturn back then, dude. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, check out that article on FragTagRadio.com. Um, I, I spoke a little, little bit more in depth about it. But uh, anyway, moving on. Moving on. And then this is another one Jay Ray's going to be excited about. Mm -hmm. Far Cry 4 news coming soon. Jerry, I thought Far Cry 3 was possibly game of the year. I did. Year. I did. I love that game so much, man. I, to me, that game just, it was incredible to me. And, and and I am very excited about the prospects of a next-gen Far Cry. Because yeah. what they dug out of the current gen... It's impressive. It is. And it really to, was. To just, just the thought of what they could bring With out of a next-gen console really just gets my Phoenix effing rising. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so... Man. Nothing like a Phoenix Rising. You know it. <laughs> so, anyway, Ubisoft Senior Vice President of Marketing and Sales, Tony Key, told GameSpot, we're totally psyched from Far Cry 3. It's a great brand, and now it's got the recognition it deserves. So we're clearly going to make another one. More on that soon. So. Watson. Well, that's right. So your Phoenix will be rising soon, just like mine. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a good game. I don't think it was game of the year like you did, but it was definitely good. Well, good I didn't game. say it was game of the year, but I thought it was one of them, you know? I, I mean, it, it was a contender, you it said. It was. Yeah. It was definitely a contender. So, for sure. All right. And then, so, here's the next-gen game that me and Matter of Fact are looking forward yep. to. Killer Instinct, baby. She and I have thunder. to say, I have to say, I'm looking more forward to it after the Glacius videos came up. He was pretty badass. It looks uh, sick. Yeah. And it, it, it brought, it had some nostalgia to it, like yeah. hitting the godlike and ultra combos. Yeah. It had that nostalgia feel. I was like, okay, now I remember my days playing Killer yeah. Instinct. You yeah. know, and I, I gotta say, it got me a little bit more into, into it. it because yeah. I was kind of like, you know, Killer Instinct, that's cool. You know, played it back in the yeah, day. Yeah, we were, we were talking about our game of the show at E3. You're like, Killer Instinct? Yeah. <laughs> And you're right, I was, but and, and I, I still don't know if I'm ready. Who the to hell wants to play Killer Instinct? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I never said that. But I did say that it did, I didn't think it was game of the show, and I still don't know if it was game of the show. But I will say that I'm much more impressed by it now than I was then. Yeah, for sure. So for those who played it back in the day, Chief Thunder coming back, coming back, Tomahawk and all. 
Yep. <laughs> Bada boom. And he so, was in Killer Instinct 2, right? Or was no. he? He right. wasn't? No. Just, which one was he in? The first one. Yeah. He wasn't in two? Mm, they had first Tusk, one. Maya, and yeah. someone else in the second one. And then 64 had Gold, that's which was right. just that's two right. yeah, transferred that's over. Right. That's yeah. right. That's right. All right, and so of course we all know uh, Jago, Saberwolf, and Glacius, but they've also confirmed Sp uh, Spinal, my favorite character, mm -hmm. as well as Cinder and Fulgore, and I think a lot of people like Fulgore. Cinder. Yeah, he was a Cinder was badass. Cinder, Cinder, Cinder was. was badass. Yeah, Cinder was too. People used to be cheese with him. Though. Four, four, medium punch. Four, four, medium punch. Medium punch. Medium punch. Connect. Almost like Raiden was in the one, the Mortal Kombat for the original Xbox. Gosh, what was the name of that? Armageddon. Deadly Alliance. Oh, Deadly Alliance. Yeah. When he had the long bow, he, oh, and yeah. all you, you, you could, nobody yeah. could reach you. You just bow. Yeah. Oh man, you could cheese with Raiden. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of center status. Yeah, definitely. Well, hopefully they got that balance and worked out for the new generation. I'm sure. Uh, the counter breakers. That yeah, they showed that's off right. That. There's proof yeah. right along. And yeah. then speaking of Killer Instinct, they got some connect integration. And before you start moaning and groaning. This isn't, this isn't wave your arms at the screen and play Killer Instinct. Oh. Oh. I wanted to get up and just do my own combo. This is, this is you can set up tournaments in your living room, and it'll know everybody's face. Yep. So me and Matt sit down for round one. We play. It knows that it's me and Matt playing. It knows my settings. You know, your and then, settings. You know, uh, me or Matt, whoever wins wins the match. One of us gets up. J Ray sits down, and then the game, because of Connect, automatically knows it's J Ray. He's there, so if he wins, it puts the win on his. So yeah. you know, See, it's automatically, automatically loads up his profile, his his favorite character. Now this is what I'm talking about. That's the way Connect should be used yeah. Yeah. in controller based games. Now I know there's other things you can do with it too, but it seems like Microsoft finally like, is like in Forza it. when yeah. you can turn your head to see out the rear. Yeah, like they're that. finally yeah. getting it that it's not about getting well, the not about weed, the gimmick, not about getting the gimmick of Wii back yeah. and getting motion because motion game will never be a new thing all over again. No, it's it's, 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 it's something that and we all know. It only works with games like Connect Sports, right? And yeah. Dance Central, and they do and, 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 and exercise. It games. does yeah. work, and it works well for those. But you know, the only real good interpretation of a controller based game was Fable the Journey and that wasn't great. Gunstringer. Gunstringer uh, was. Gunstringer yeah. was. But I, but I, I mean I, a, few, a controller based game that went connect is what I kind of meant. Right. Well, and uh, Fruit Ninja was good too but that was just an arcade game. Yeah right and, and that was uh, that was good. Which is what uh, they could do Infinity Blade. I've said this on the phone oh, Jeff. That, yeah. Man Infinity Blade would be perfect for connect man. I just wish Epic could do it perfect because the swipe motions you make in the game the sword yeah. fight you could do the same thing like fruit ninja with your arm man and it's it, oh yeah. somebody call up epic and say get infinity blade up there yeah i don't know why they haven't thought of it yet i don't know i actually to be honest with you i think when infinity blade the original game was first made i think they actually had in mind connect for it yeah and then decided to go touch devices but i don't think at the time they knew it was going to take off the way it did yeah. Because you can play an Infinity Blade of David Buster's right now on a big arcade screen. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Bada, but, bada boom. So, yeah, Killer Instinct sounded better and better every day. Yeah, looking it does. It's looking it. better and better. It, 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 yeah, looks, it, it looks incredible. I, I got to say. Kid Lob at the helm. I mean, what can go wrong? God bless that man. Yeah, he's still in the industry after all he these is. years. We need him. I wouldn't say he's still in the industry after all these years. He's back in the industry after all these years. No, he no he, he's been well, in. What, what he's he's just left. What has he made that's... He's the creator of the original Killer Instinct. I know, but what has he made recently is what I'm oh, saying. Oh, if you go on that interview at Evo, yeah. they talk about he everything about he's done. Has he done something that... that... He, He's the he's the creative overseer at Microsoft Studios, and he's been there for a few years. Now. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. he oversees like every arcade game that comes out. Every PC. oh, so okay, so he's yeah. so he's more of a, a, a executive insurance. role now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but not not really behind games like he used to be with no. Killer Instinct. But, but he, is, he is with Killer Instinct. He is now. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like well, that's, that's why yeah. I said back. Because, okay, yeah. Yeah. that's why I said he's back. Killer, Killer Instinct yeah. is his baby. Yeah, right. He actually uh, he worked for Nintendo back in the day. Yeah, and then left, and he worked for somebody else before Microsoft. I can't remember who that was. I want to say was it EA. I well, that's what I was thinking. Well, like EA. I said, it's good to have him back making games. It is. Most definitely, and it shows on Killer Instinct. It does. Yes, it I, does. I, I don't think Double Helix could have done it without him. Anyway. I don't think. Oh, I don't know. If I wouldn't even. Could, anybody could touch Killer Instinct without him. They, yeah. It wouldn't be right. It wouldn't. Yeah. Unless, unless it was rare. It almost be like a company like People Can Fly making a Gears game or something. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh, I hope that Jesus. never happens. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, let me get rid of my cup. 
<laughs> Dude, you should like every time people can fly. Uh, the, they have a Gears of War Judgment Facebook account, and every time they post something on there, look at look, the comments is nothing but "Who still plays this shit game? <laughs> Screw this game. Go suck it." People can. Fly. I don't. I don't necessarily. Your game is horrible. I don't. Agree I hope you don't make that. the next Gears. I mean, it, 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 people just. I don't, on, like, on. It, it, if I was a developer at People Can Fly, I would have shut that account down by now. Yeah. Because no one shows them any love. Whatsoever, they don't. Des- <laughs> they don't deserve Whatsoever. all that. But. I mean, they don't, and I feel bad for them. But <laughs> just go read their fucking Facebook, dude. It's not bad. Huh? It is not pretty. <laughs> Tell you what. Well, I mean, that it's happens. You, you should read Mountain Dew. Thanks for ruining gears, fuck faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, let's get back on track here before we give yeah. people can fly a new asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it's not us. It's not us. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're making just it expressing more, what yeah. those people think. Yeah, which is funny. Fours of five will require a one-time connection to download extra tracks, cars, and drivatars. Yeah. So, oh my God, it's mandatory online. <laughs> I'm canceling my fours of pre-order now. But see, next week's get, episode, you Forza get, 5 will you no longer require a one-time yeah, internet connection. <laughs> tracks. Uh, evidently, you know, obviously, the game will be finished, but they've got a bunch of extra tracks and cars that they want to yeah, add. Just like Forza that, 4. Yeah, that they're not going to yeah. have ready in time. So you'll sign in, it'll give you the extra cars, the extra tracks, and it'll download the drive guitar straight off the thing. Okay. And if you're a true Forza fan and you have friends that are on Forza, you're going to want to log in every now and then to read oh, yeah. the drive guitars so you, so you can get the updated drive guitars and race against your friends. I mean, that's going to be one of the biggest draws of Forza 5. Nobody's going to play Forza yeah. 4 without being connected online. If they are, they're idiots. There's probably somebody out there, dude. Well, I'm sorry to call you an idiot, but you're an idiot. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, since we were talking about ninja games earlier. Age of Wushu. What is now, uh, this is a, a, a PC... MMO, a true MMO. Oh, okay. True MMO. Are you sure there's not just thrown around that term loosely? No, this isn't just one of those <laughs> loosely thrown around. Just, this is a true MMO. Okay. And, uh, uh, and it is actually sponsored by Jet Li himself. Oh, yeah. really? Man, uh, I'm not buying that. That might it, be. It got really good reviews. I'm just kidding. I'm just okay. kidding. Yeah, it got really good reviews. A lot of people have said this is one of the greatest MMOs out there, actually. Oh, right. So it's. They're bringing it to consoles. Really? And they're making a movie also. I'm guessing Jet Li's going to be Man, in. Man, now! Gonna, the game's going to be based off the movie? The game's already out. No, so no the, I mean the, for, the, for what we're the getting movie, on the, the consoles. Be based off, the, the game we're getting is the game that's the already movie's on based on the okay. game. They're just, they're, they're just porting the MMO. Okay, okay. so okay. the movie's based off the game. That means the movie's going to suck. Not the game. If Jet Li's <laughs> in it, <laughs> if, if, if Li is in it, the fighting is at least going to be awesome. Why it should be? If you he's know, overseeing it all? Answer me this. Why every time they make a game based on a movie, the game sucks? And why every time they make a movie based on a game, game, the movie sucks. I don't know, Halo Forward Until Dawn. That was good. Yeah, but that wasn't a, I mean, like a full flesh. Yeah, that wasn't something Resident you go to the theaters and see. There's been a few exceptions. People say, just saying, uh, people will say Tomb Raider. You know. Yeah. Well, don't Angelina Jolie was the only thing that made those. Games. There's been a few exceptions, but for the most part, if they had put Jodie Foster in there, no one would watch. <laughs> Jodie Foster. I'll tell you an exception. A movie I like. <laughs> Jodie Foster. <laughs> I liked I liked the Hitman movie. Oh, I never saw that. Was that good? It was okay. I never no, saw that. Did you see, and then some people told me that the Max Payne movie was okay. But then some oh, didn't they have so, Mark Wahlberg? In I didn't yeah, like it. it. Yeah, you didn't like it. I like Mark Wahlberg. Okay. I, 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 I've heard I both sides. Some like people said the it was character good. Some from Max Payne. Mm. Yeah. So, Dishonored's final DLC. I like an Alan Wake movie. That would be different. That would be awesome. That would work good. Yeah. That would work because it actually has a good enough story to make into a movie. It would. Yeah. Dishonored's final DLC announced. The Brigmore Witches. And this is the second part of Dodd's story. So I'm actually happy that I didn't play Knife of Dumbwall so yet. Both. Yeah, yeah, so now I can just play them both and get the full story all at once. Hmm. Bada boom. Uh, and then that's going to retail for ten, 10 bucks, a.k.a. 100 Microsoft points. Bada boom. August 14th. Bada boom. <laughs> When's this update coming for us that they're going to get rid of Microsoft points? Oh, well, we got fall, it on the beta, guys, but yeah. it'll be the fall update. Yeah. Oh, like, okay. The, the, yeah. Okay. Yep. And uh, well, when it happens, any Microsoft points you have on your Just account will be con- converted over to real money. Okay. Yeah. Instantly. As soon as you get the update, it'll come up with a thing and tell you. Okay, cool. That it's been converted. Yeah, buddy. Bada boom. Ooh, bada boom. And last piece of news. For bada the boom. Limited edition of J-Ray. What's well, going to be J-Ray's game of the year, probably. Uh, possibly. I actually, it already, it already is my play. game of the year. So, <laughs> it's all right. Watch Dogs is going... Uh, oh, gosh. I 
for one time. Grand Theft Auto Five, though. That looks that, could, that could video you showed me. The Last of Us and oh, Grand Theft Auto Five, yeah. and probably Bioshock Infinite, excluding next gen titles. Last of Us, yeah. the Last of Us, I'm sure is good. I don't think it's going to be a pen. You look at the, Grand Theft Auto Five. Though. For so, I, I just don't know if Grand Theft Auto it, Five. But yeah, I don't know if Grand Theft Auto Five is going to just get straight damn ten. Tens that's across the, metal that's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm thinking Grand Theft Auto V is going to get straight tens everywhere. It looked good. Well, that's what Last of Us pretty much did. That's what I'm yeah, saying. You look true, at Metacritic. Yeah. I've never seen anything like what I saw on Metacritic when, before. They definitely got most, mostly good reviews, although I did see it got a 7.5 on Polygon. But, I mean, like, you look at there, and, like, the first 25 reviews on Metacritic from, from not, not user reviews, it's just, yeah. like, 10, 10, 10, 10, uh, 10, And then 10, what 10, uh, 10. Uh, Joystick did an article, just, uh, like, last week, it was, like, or is it the Joystick or Games Radar? They were, like, 20 gripes about The Last of Us, and they named 20 different things. Oh, I think I remember that, saying that. that yeah. That, that could have been done better. You're never going to please everybody, you know. I don't think but, that's but after the to have a Metacritic, yeah. to have yeah, a Metacritic score of 95 is that is, pretty, that is pretty good. Damning, that's incredible. impressive. Yeah, you know, Bioshock uh, Infinite might still be a contender too. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Bioshock Infinite's in there. You know, I, I, like I said, at the end of the year, excluding next gen titles, I think you're going to be looking at Grand Theft Auto V, The Last of Us, and Bioshock Infinite as your game of the year three. But everyone's going to be including current gen and next gen in their yeah. they, they are. They are. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying for, okay, let's say current gen game of the year then. That, that yeah, different It's going to be one of those yeah. three. Yeah. Because I don't, I personally don't think it's fair to, to have next gen with current gen. You know, I just think. Well, then I'm guessing current gen will probably be Grand Theft Auto V, and next gen will probably be Watch Dogs. Could for be. This year. Could be. Uh, I can see Watch Dogs for. Yeah. For uh, next gen. Dead Rising's possible too. You know, it, uh, yeah. De def, uh, what you call it? Um, uh, Grand Theft Auto definitely has a very, very good shot at getting game of the year. It does. But I mean, it's got to, it's got to do some big time things. It's to going to. Oh, it they put out one trailer, and I almost wet myself. Yeah. Oh, my too. Phoenix. You talk about your Phoenix rising. My ship rose through the roof. When I saw <laughs> it does look freaking incredible, and Grand Theft Auto always delivers. Rockstar always gets they it do. right. So they I, I have do. no doubt about it. But you know, we'll see. It's going to be something special, though, to see if if they do, get, if it does get game of the year, you're going to have two of the highest scoring games in history coming out in the same year. Yeah. You know? Well, and it's amazing the size of the world that they're able to fit on the next gen consoles. Mm -hmm. It's just insane. It's amazing the size of the worlds they were able to fit on last gen's consoles. I, know. I mean, Skyrim, yeah. even Grand Theft Auto Five. You look at that video, and you're like, man, I can go well, anywhere and everywhere. Talking about San Andreas, though, you know, to fit that on a PS2. Wow, you know they, they've was, always yeah. been able to do it. Yeah, but that, well, no, they're saying this is like Grand Theft Auto Four, San Andreas, and Vice City. I know, all, like all, uh, yeah, yeah, together. I know, but at the time Shoot. when San Andreas came out, for you were like, holy crap! crap yeah, this is huge. Was, look at this yeah. country I can go yeah, to now, like, like yeah. countryside. Hell yeah. Anyway, Definitely so yeah, but back to back to the limited edition of Assassin's Creed Four. So um, what comes with it? I'll tell you what comes with it, P. I'll tell you what. Let comes me know. With it. I'm thinking about getting. It. Uh, 18, Actually, it's only for current gen consoles, so I probably won't be getting it. eighteen oh, inch, oh. Uh, eighteen inch statuette of Kenway swinging around a buccaneer like, uh, buccaneer like on a rope. So, uh, <laughs> so twenty eight inch by forty eight inch flag with the skull and assassin symbol logo, an eighty page art book, soundtrack, and steel book case. Oh, <laughs> all for one hundred thirty dollars. Oh, in the game too, by the way. Uh, Boom. That's only for the current gen consoles. Yeah, so. which is weird. Why, why? Why aren't they doing that for next? Well, they are having a some type of addition for that because when I pre-ordered this for next gen on Xbox One, she asked me if I wanted the special edition, and I don't know if she just didn't know what she was talking about. Yeah. But there was a skew in her system for an Xbox One special edition. Are you sure she pre-ordered the Xbox One edition for you? Hopefully, yeah, she ain't doing yeah, three sixty. I know. I know. Yeah. I know yeah. I you know those RC. people at GameStop. You never know with them. Yeah. You, yeah. you certainly don't, losers. Because I had I had totally pre-ordered Call of Duty Ghost for Xbox One. Went in there with J Ray, and he's like, "I don't got you down for Call of Duty Ghost in here. Where my five dollars go then?" Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's all the news for the week. Lucky for me, I kept the receipt. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd have just been asked out on five. Yeah, you know, that's something we should talk about. Is GameStop's been dropping the ball on a lot of things. I think they have for just like uh, customer service and the way that they interact and like they're supposed to know the stuff that we don't know. You know what I mean? Tell and you, you go what in I am there. Happy about is there's some pretty faces in GameStop. There has been some pretty faces. Some non-pretty ones too. Though. Well, there's there's some... all, I, we expect that from GameStop, though. We don't Plus expect face. the pretty faces. Yeah. We don't. I, I'm gonna tell you, there is a hot, hot, hot P 
piece. <laughs> um, <laughs> up at the at the um the new market GameStop up where we were today. Oh yeah. And I'm telling you, she is sexy, man. And I was like, I was talking to her a little bit. She has a southern accent and stuff. And I was like, why are Chill you? Chill making it to the robot status? Yeah, she's up there. She's close. I mean, she's a dime, man. And she, I was like, what are you working at a GameStop for? She knew her stuff, man. She was talking about it, and she was cool. And then there's a decent one working at the, the PTC one and a pretty decent one at the Tides Lane one. So all three GameStops yeah. got at least one. And then bus faces are all over the place. Yeah, they are. So, But, yes, their customer service has been seriously lacking. They would not. They would not let me buy a game because my ID had expired also, man, one day earlier. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like I was saying in my article recently, they need to slack up on the used games. Like, if I bring a new copy of a game to the counter, don't ask me if I want to buy that used. If I wanted to buy it used, I'd have pulled, I I'd have, I'd have, I'd have pulled the used case off the shelf. The reason yeah. they do that is because they make more money if you buy it used. Yeah, right. So. But that, that's my biggest gripe with GameStop is, I mean... I know, but they're not going to stop doing that. No, they they're, need they're to, though, told man. that like when they get trained. Right. The yeah. developer, uh, I saw the article on IGN today... Uh, the Sony developer who was doing the, the Order 1886, he was talking so much smack about GameStop. Did you see his article on IGN? I didn't. I, I saw the article up there and didn't read it. He said that he went to GameStop and put a new copy of a game on the counter. And the dude went behind the counter to, to, to grab the, the game for him and, 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 and put a used copy of the game on the counter without even asking him if he wanted it and tried to sell it to him for $5 less. And he said that he just went off on the dude. He was like, dude, you just did that to the wrong one. I'm a developer myself, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And, you know, you know who's going off? So. See. And I was actually surprised to hear someone from within Sony speaking up out against used games like so, that. Yeah. No, I don't think anybody really likes used games. They just understand it's how right a large there. part of the market. And yeah. It's a large part of GameStop's market. Yeah, I mean, even Best Buy does used games now, you know. I traded in games to Best Buy. They are a fraction by the way, compared to GameStop. By the way. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you're going to trade in games and you have a Best Buy just as close as a GameStop, trade them into Best Buy. They give you a lot more. Credit? Yes. A lot more. I mean, speaking almost double wow. from what I brought in. Because really? I, Yes, because I brought in a game that GameStop had told me. I forgot what game it was. And this was about six months ago. And uh, it was right around Christmas time. Okay. And uh, right after Christmas. And it, I think GameStop told me like eight bucks or something like that. Best Buy gave me 19. Wow. Damn. You know, I Man, mean, that's... Dude, they do. They're so much better. And you know what frustrates me about it is GameStop's going to turn around and sell it for forty four ninety nine. Yeah. Best Buy sells reused games for like thirty four ninety nine, dollars okay, Or even yeah. cheaper if it's an older game. Best Buy seems a whole lot fair. But they don't have... They have to be. Because right now everybody knows to go to GameStop to trade in their games. Yeah. They don't think about Best Buy when they think about trading. True. Well, you just put them out there, so there you Best go. Buy. Props to Best Buy. Yeah. So, anyway, that's all the news. Let's move on to our Peace well, Picnic World of Tanks Corner and Matter of Facts Facts. Um, <laughs> just downloaded, or not downloaded, about a week or two ago, World of Tanks, uh, just the beta right uh, now. Do you, do, you, are you, do you like the hype? Is it, are you in the hype now? It's actually a pretty good game, and I've never liked the tank, it's the hype tank real. game before. It's the hype real. It's not the greatest game I ever played. It's not the hype real. <laughs> it's not the greatest game. It's not the hype game. But, but it's fun. Uh, and so the hype is real. For free to play. So it's the hype fun. is real. It's free to play. It's real. Uh, it's, so it's real. For free to play. Uh, it's 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 pretty awesome. It's easy to jump into and play. You uh you you gain money rather quickly. Uh, yeah. so you're able to buy more tanks, uh, better tanks, upgrade the tanks that you already have. Uh, it's not in the beta, but you know, in the full version, you'll be able to do paint jobs and oh, okay. kind of pimp out your tanks and, cool. and, and make them look cooler. Yeah. Um, you'll be able to spend real money if you want to, of course. Oh, yeah, or or you can get uh, everything just by playing the game. So uh, you don't okay. have to spend real money. Everything that's there, you can totally get just by you just playing. You just have to truck through it long. Yeah, where yeah. where a lot of free to play games these days are going the route where you can get some of the stuff just by playing. Yeah. But if you want some of that stuff, you got to pay the you real want money. The good stuff. Yeah. Give us two ninety five. Well, luckily they're not going that we're route. We're talking about a game that does that. With, with more, with, yeah. Uh, speaking of yeah, speaking of which, uh, Halo Spartan Assault review. Uh, J. Ray, you can start it now. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've played very little of it so far, uh, so I'll let you handle most of you, give it, you know, be it as you beat it. But um, it's uh, it's cool. It's it's one of the better mobile games I've played. Uh, technically speaking, it's not like Deus Ex: The Fall or or like Infinity Blade type deal, but 
gameplay wise it's fun and one of the things that impressed me the most about the game is the touch controls are great and like anybody who's played borderlands legends on the uh, ios that game is really cool and very similar to Halo Spartan Assault in a sense, but the controls aren't nearly as, as well done. Uh, Halo Spartan Assault just does a phenomenal job of making touch controls, which usually suck, and, 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 and making them work really well. And that's one of the things I noticed right off the bat. I, I liked it. Um, and, and man, it, it's cool how they in, 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 you know incorporate the vehicles, yeah. all the real Everything guns. from Halo that, that, that you know and love, it's all in there. Armor abilities vehicles all the different guns you can like whenever you kill a bad guy they drop their gun on the ground you can pick it up just yeah. like you would in the game melee. you can hit the button and switch between weapons yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you can melee and do it grenades i mean yeah grenades. It's, it's all there and, sounds and, like and it's it, halo just yeah. from a bird's it eye view yeah it's, like, it's a full halo experience has a companion a companion app type deal with halo 4 too Oh. Yeah, uh, stuff that stuff that you do in the game will unlock extra stuff for Halo Four, and vice versa. If you've uh, played Halo Four and gotten achievements, that'll unlock. Yeah, because I beat the campaign for a Spartan Assault. Oh, of Halo Four, I Spartan automatically Assault. had an upgrade in Sp Spartan Assault and stuff that, that I could use. So that's cool. Now, one of the things that you had a gripe about. Yes, uh, the thing I had a gripe about was there is upgrades that you can purchase before each mission, and some of them are uh, you can use uh, with the experience that you gain from playing the game. But there's two upgrades for every level for each slot that you can only get by paying real money. Oh. Now, now, now. Granted, the achievements uh, don't include any of the stuff that costs real money. If you look at the achievements, it'll That's be cool. like uh, use every weapon in the game except the Spartan laser and the rocket launcher, which are the two weapons that you have to pay real money for. Okay. Spartan laser is awesome. Buddy. Use every armor That's ability cool. in the game except. Overshield and blah blah blah, which are the two armor abilities you have to pay real money. For. Okay. So, uh, you won't get gimped on any achievements by not spending real money, and the game is totally playable uh, without those money upgrades. Uh, I beat it without spending any money at all, but uh, I imagine the game is probably a lot easier. With yeah, those. I imagine. So it's probably just more for people who are looking for an easier experience, who like to kind of con their way <laughs> <laughs> through gaming. <laughs> But uh, as a mobile game, uh, I would say 4.5 out of 5 frags, 4.5 frags. I would agree with that. Really, really good. Quality done. I mean, you, you can. it's very polished. I didn't run into any glitches of any kind. I don't know. Did you have you run into any? Yeah. Um, yeah when very, I started playing, it looks very, very smooth. Yeah, very polished. I like yeah. how you start each level with two thumbs. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Let them know you're ready. Yeah. So. Anyway. Halo or uh, Alan Wake flashback. Uh, you had to Matter of fact, you know, when, whenever we get the chance to talk about the Wakester, we got to throw him in there. And I've been trying to get Matt on Alan Wake for so long. It was on sale a month or two ago. For $5. Yes, and I was able to get him to purchase it, but I wasn't able to get him to really play it right away. Yeah. He must have got bored because he finally got down on it. And I then, dealt deep into that thing. And then he played it for awesome, long enough right? to get to where it's he realized. It's a great game. He realized game. this game is awesome. Only complaint I have about that game, nothing story wise, just one control mechanic. And that's A. When you try to jump, he kind of has like this stumbling. Yeah. And that's uh, yeah. it. But that, uh, other than that, yeah. that's what flashlight mind. mechanic, the shooting, the gun, really the innovative. gunplay in that feels great. Yeah, it's I mean, really when you innovative. Fire that revolver, you feel like you're just boom. As soon as you shine the, the flashlight on the an enemy, they start, it starts burning the darkness yeah. out of them. It happens so instantly. It, it's it's crazy. That, now, when I was playing the American Nightmare, uh, your house. Yeah. I didn't like how if you just shine the light on them without using the left trigger to you know enhance it, it wouldn't burn them. Yeah. But you know, that's, the first uh, one I did it slowly, so that's you could just, just for kinda... Fight Till Dawn though. If yeah. you play oh, was it? Oh. Okay. If you play the campaign of American Nightmare, it's the same way. As Is it okay? Good. Yeah. We'll save some battery. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think I think they just did that to kind of make it so that Fight Till Dawn wasn't too easy. Z more. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Make it a little more challenging. Well, no. Everybody who who listens to our show knows we are huge fans of the Wakester. Yeah, big Al. I am now too. Quantum theory. So what, what, awesome. What do you think of the story when you what, when you saw the ending? Were you like WTF? Yeah, I was, and I was like WTF. What's next? Like, I wanted to find out. At first, in the beginning, I had no idea what the hell was going on. I was confused, lost. The only thing that was keeping me going was the gameplay and how fun it was. How and then, scared did you get every time it start a storm started coming? Well, that's in. the thing. It was nice because I knew they were coming. The ominous clouds. And, and you look and you see the little rah, 
and they got little the shadows. Oh yeah. man, it freaks. It's freaks. Yeah, the one thing that scared me, it scared the crap out of me. You, I was on chat yeah, with you. Guys you guys scared a couple times. Uh, I forgot where I was at, like in the ranger station or something. But I, wa I walked into a locker room, into another room, got something, came back out, and this dude just bust right out of the bathroom yeah. stall, and just scared the Jesus out of me. <laughs> like I had no idea what to do. I flashed a light in his eyes and shot. And that's all I did. But uh, pretty awesome game. Mad, mad fun. So what would you yeah, score? score oh, it's wise. five. Five? Easily five. 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 Yeah. For the you gotta yeah. give it. If you're on Frag Tag Radio and you That's... play out awake and you don't give it a five, we're don't... calling Steve-O. He'll let you know. He'll let you know. Yeah, no, easily. And, um... No, yeah, it's an awesome game. Tonight, I plan on, hopefully, or tomorrow, I plan on uh, getting the... Special, uh, yeah, yeah, the DLC. Yeah, one and two. Yeah, yeah, and the American Nightmare. Which, which those are arguably even even better gameplay wise than the campaign itself because they added different elements the to the DLC. Yeah. 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 They, oh, they, they? they do it. Yeah, they they do. They they had two great DLCs. Before oh, okay. Stuff. And they and they really do, dwell, dwell on the story more. You know, they dive deeper into okay, the story, good. and you, you find yeah. out a lot more about what happens. So. Yeah. Well, definitely, that's our show for the week. Been uh, a great episode. Yeah, Check out all the maps. All the apps. Game RSS uh, for Android. Xbox One news for Android, World of Video Game, game news yeah. for Android, Xbox Game news for Android, Game On for Windows 8, Bright AI's also got Xbox news, yeah. uh, Podcast app for iOS yeah, and Windows. Android Windows. Uh, and Windows, yeah. Stitcher Radio, we did not mention that earlier. Stitcher Radio is on pretty much everything. Yeah, get us on Stitcher Radio. That's uh, all I got. Send us a text. Yeah, <laughs> and then hit us up on on the new number. That's uh, one three zero four talk FTR. Yep. One three zero four talk FTR text voicemail or, or voicemail call. YouTube channel. Check it out. Fragtagradio.com. Get on there. Leave us some comments cool. and hit us up on Twitter. Tweets from the streets at Fragtag Radio. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, it's been another great episode, and we will catch y'all on the flip side. Fragtag Radio.